After becoming a widower, Benjamin had practically dismissed the idea of having children, but destiny had other plans for him, which he could never have imagined. His journey became intertwined with that of three sisters, on the verge of being separated. When he adopted them, he couldn't foresee the impact these young girls would have on his life and what would happen next. Hello my friends, I am Linda and this is the Linda Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. Judith woke up with enthusiasm that filled the room. It was the last day of work before her long-awaited retirement. She had built her life in a small town on the outskirts of the capital, where every day she boarded the morning bus that took her to the heart of the metropolis. On that particular morning, the air seemed tinted with a special promise. She and her husband Benjamin shared a delicious breakfast, meticulously prepared by him. Sitting at the table, their gazes met, and there, amidst sips of coffee and bites of fresh bread, they made plans for the days ahead. Retirement wasn't just a well-deserved break. It was the key to a new chapter they were eager to explore together. Judith and Benjamin, bound by work for so many years, now had an unlimited horizon ahead of them. With knowing smiles, they began to sketch the outlines of dreams that had been dormant for far too long. Amidst laughter and lively conversations, the couple delved into a world of possibilities. Every glimpse of the future they planned was filled with anticipation and excitement. Maps unfolded on the table, and travel magazines were filled with notes as they envisioned the destinations they were about to explore. These were distant places they had only known through printed words and images on screens. Elegant and cosy restaurants, each with a unique cuisine to discover, were carefully noted in a shared notebook. They were determined to savour the world, one dish at a time. And on the shelves of their home, a list of books patiently waited, longing for hands to flip through their pages and minds to get lost in their narratives. Judith and Benjamin, young seniors in their early 60s, radiated vitality. Age was just a number for them, as they carried within themselves the flame of adventure and curiosity often found in younger hearts. Their health kept them in good company, allowing them to embrace each new day with renewed energy. Years of hopes and dreams filled with attempts to conceive a child had been in vain, Destiny had reserved a different chapter for them. However, this less travelled path did not lead them to sadness. Instead, they discovered a deep and lasting joy in each other's company. Every glance, every smile, every tender gesture was a silent celebration of the love they shared. Benjamin accompanied Judith to the bus terminal, where she would be boarding for the last time on that intercity journey that had become so familiar over the years. As they waited, a touching scene caught Judith's attention. Three young sisters were playing carefree, laughing and creating memories they would likely carry throughout their lives. It was a sight that triggered deep thoughts in her inquisitive mind. She turned to Benjamin, her eyes carrying a question that had been stored away for years. Benjamin, she began, her soft voice cutting through the air. Have you ever found yourself wondering what our life would have been like if we had had children? Benjamin looked at her, his eyes meeting hers with a warmth and understanding that only years of love could cultivate. A gentle smile played on his lips, like a silent response even before his words found the air. Oh, Judith, he began, his voice soft and full of affection. I've imagined countless scenarios for our lives, but in all of them, you were the radiant sun that illuminated everything. Having children might have added a new dimension, it's true, but the true magic always resided in every moment we shared in every laugh that echoed between us, and in the adventures we embraced together. He placed a gentle hand on her face, looking deep into her eyes. Our story is unique, Judith, and no matter the twists fate could have taken, what matters is that we are each other's essence, and that is more than enough to fill our lives with meaning. Judith and Benjamin watched the family with their three daughters board the bus, knowing that it was Judith's turn to board as well. Through the bus window, Judith waved to Benjamin, who stood on the platform. Their gazes met. What they couldn't anticipate was that it would be the last exchange of glances they would share. Fate, often treacherous in its unpredictability, was weaving a cruel plot. A few hours after Judith had boarded the bus, Benjamin saw his world dangerously sway when the phone rang, tearing through the air with its urgency. His trembling fingers held the phone as the voice on the other end uttered words that, like daggers, pierced his heart. His legs faltered, the solidity he had known so well crumbled, and he found himself leaning against the wall, struggling to find a foothold. 
Fate cruelly turned the pages of time, bringing tragedy with it. The bus carrying Judith and many other lives was engulfed in a devastating accident, ruthlessly stealing lives. Amidst the wreckage, only three survivors emerged from that scene of horror, their existences now forever marked by the weight of what they witnessed and endured. Benjamin, though torn apart inside, knew it was his duty to face the harsh formality that awaited him. He made the painful journey to the hospital where Judith had been taken. What awaited him was a glimpse of the abyss, a sight no human should ever experience. Recognising the body of his beloved was like saying goodbye to a part of himself. As he entered the hospital reception, Benjamin's eyes found something that would add another layer of complexity to this already heart-wrenching reality. There were the three sisters he had seen that morning at the bus terminal. Now they bore injuries and torn clothes, but they still held hands in a sibling embrace that seemed to be their only refuge amidst the devastation. The girls, with sad and understanding looks beyond their tender years, were the sole survivors of an event that had changed everything. The weight of their lives had become unbearable. The pain of losing their parents was a burden no child's heart should bear. While Benjamin faced his own grief, a deep compassion took hold of him. The tears in his eyes were not just for his own loss, but also for these three young souls facing an unknown journey of pain and loneliness. Life had shown its cruelty in ways that could never have been foreseen. Weeks dragged on like shadows since the day Benjamin buried his beloved Judith. The maps that once were filled with dreams and shared adventures still lay scattered on the table, silent witnesses to an interrupted journey. Each written page, each marked point, were fragments of a life that no longer existed in the same way. For Benjamin, gathering these objects was like accepting the unacceptable, that Judith would never return. But the mere thought of removing these symbols of their shared plans felt like a definitive farewell he was not yet ready to make. The quietness in Benjamin's home was suffocating. A sound broke the silence. The phone, which had long seemed to have forgotten its purpose, interrupted the stillness. He was being called because Judith's belongings, the items she had left behind at the chaotic accident scene, were being returned. Benjamin followed the directions to the location he had been informed of. He was greeted by a social worker with kind eyes and a compassionate expression. The social worker held a box that, despite its modest size, contained a whole universe of memories. She placed the box on a nearby table. With a soft and comforting voice, the social worker asked Benjamin how he was coping with all of this, if he was getting the necessary support to navigate this period of grief and mourning. Benjamin looked at her with eyes filled with sadness. He tried with a forlorn look to reassure the woman that he was moving forward, although it was obvious that his words didn't entirely convince her. It was then that the social worker shared something that touched him deeply and unexpectedly. She spoke about the surviving sisters. The sisters had shared that when chaos erupted inside the bus, when the terror of an impending collision hung in the air, it was Judith who, with her courageous and loving guidance, ensured that the sisters huddled together and protected their heads. Judith, even in the face of danger, had acted with instinctive heroism to safeguard those young lives. A wave of emotions overflowed Benjamin's heart, like a flood of feelings he could barely contain. The story of the sisters and Judith's brave act seemed like a shining reflection of who she was, a selfless and loving soul. He needed to know the fate of these girls. The social worker shared the sad reality. With the parents passing, the sisters were now in a local orphanage. The possibility of being separated loomed like a dark cloud over their heads, as the orphanage was a temporary place, and finding permanent homes for older children was often a challenging task. But something in Benjamin resonated deeply with the sister's story. He found himself pondering the additional cruelty of taking away from them the last vestige of security they had left, each other's company. It was then that, in a moment that felt like a response to an internal call he didn't even know he was making, he said, I'll take care of them. In the days that followed, Benjamin found himself immersed in a whirlwind of new experiences as he began the process of adopting the three young girls. This journey was entirely unknown to him, an emotional and practical territory he had never explored before. Life was about to take a radical turn. The arrival of the girls in his home marked the beginning of a new era, a chapter he had never imagined writing. With the typical curiosity of children, the girls were soon drawn to the maps that still lay on the table. 
They sat around the table as Benjamin shared every travel plan meticulously crafted by him and Judith. The maps, once simple geographical representations, came to life with the stories he told. In a short amount of time, those maps weren't just colourful pieces of paper anymore, but gateways to shared imaginary adventures. Benjamin and the girls delved into each country, studying its cultural peculiarities, cuisine, customs and music, and with each dive into knowledge, their bonds deepened. What started as a way to share the dreams Benjamin and Judith had woven together became the foundation of a new relationship. The maps turned into starting points for lively conversations between Benjamin and the girls. As time went on, these moments became the essence of daily life. They weren't just studying geography, they were immersing themselves in different cultures, trying foreign recipes and listening to music from distant lands. Those maps were no longer just pieces of paper, but the physical representation of a fresh start, an opportunity to educate and connect, a way to keep Judith's memory alive. Benjamin and the three sisters formed an unlikely family, united by the pain life had brought them. Over the years, this union strengthened, woven together by threads of love, support and companionship. The girls, once helpless orphans, were now growing up surrounded by Benjamin's constant affection. As time went on, the three sisters grew under Benjamin's care. Each found their own path, building their own lives while carrying with them the lessons and values he had imparted. And then, one day, when the three sisters had already become independent women, they decided to surprise Benjamin in a way he could never have imagined. It was his birthday, a day they celebrated joyfully every year. But this time something was different. The three sisters gathered, combining their plans in secret. And on Benjamin's birthday, they showed up at his house. They were women now, with jobs and their own homes, but they never forgot how their lives had been transformed by Benjamin's love and care. After a cheerful dinner, where stories flowed like rivers between them, the sisters handed Benjamin an envelope. When he opened the envelope and saw its contents, a solitary tear rolled down his cheek. It was a map, a map he knew well. It was filled with marks and notations, each representing a dream shared with Judith, a dream of exploring the world together. But there was something more, something he hadn't expected. His daughters, with their smiles and bright eyes, looked at him with anticipation. Dad, do you remember all the times we studied and imagined each of these countries, knowing it was your and Judith's dream to visit them? What if we went to visit them together? This is our gift. Benjamin was filled with gratitude and fulfilment. He recognised that thanks to Judith's loving care, who in her final moments ensured the well-being of those girls, he had the opportunity to live the rest of his life as their father. Thus, Benjamin's life took an unexpected and touching turn. What began as a tragedy transformed into a story of love, unity and resilience. The three sisters found a loving home and a dedicated father in Benjamin, while he rediscovered purpose and joy in parenthood he had never imagined. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.